what's up my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel so today as you guys can see from the title i am showing you guys what's in my pro bag this is my pro bag it's pretty big and i don't fill it all up but i like having a big pro bag just in case i ever need to i'm not going to ramble on in this video i'm going to get straight into what's in this bag the first thing that you're going to want to have in your pole bag is pole grip. This helps a lot, especially when you start getting sweaty. And if you are a person with sweaty hands, you should definitely have this. It helps your grip tremendously. You might not need it when you're first learning like spins and different like floor moves. But when you want to actually stick and you want to be up on the pole, you're doing different shapes, different tricks and stuff, you want to have this so that it can assist you with staying on the pole. The next thing you need in your pole bag is pasties. I would say pasties aren't necessary per se, but if you have an outfit where it's showing a little too much for your liking, then you can definitely use these pasties so that you know you are not showing, okay? So Pacey's is a good essential to have in your pole bag. The next thing you want to have, and this is also optional, but I definitely find it essential in my pole journey, and that is your pole phone. I actually have a phone that I record all my pole content on, and you know, here it is, okay, here it is. So yes, I make sure I always have this phone because my original phone don't have no space. Y'all know I'm a hairstylist and y'all know i'm cute so i be taking pictures all the time so i don't have no space so i do all of my poll content all of my poll stuff on this phone everything dance is this phone right here and i make sure that it's in my poll bag because i hate when i forget my phone and then we do some fire choreography and i can't record like ghetto this next essential that I have in my pole bag is definitely crucial, especially because sometimes in the studio, like I understand we working out and stuff, but I be smelling underarms and I don't like smelling underarms. So you want to just make sure that you are smelling fresh. You want to make sure that you have something to freshen yourself up, especially if you are leaving pole class. We don't wipe your armpits with alcohol to try to do different moves and stuff. And when you leave, you just don't want to be funky if you're not going straight home. So yes, I would like wipe my underarms off and I put this on right after class. Or I sometimes, you know, put it on right before class just so I know I'm not stinking. You just want to respect yourself and others. Okay, y'all, you don't want to be burning nose heads. Your pole sisters would not appreciate that. So just have you some deodorant, okay? This is aluminum free, okay? Just get you some. All right, the next thing that I have in my pole bag is a towel. I keep a towel with me because we do be sweaty, we do be icky and stuff like that. So I just have this towel with me to dry off if I ever need to, to wipe a little sweat off, do whatever. Oop, I forgot I had on makeup, y'all. But do whatever I gotta do. I use this here, this towel. So it's optional, but I would recommend to keep a towel in your pole bag. The next couple things that you wanna have in your pole bag is of course your pole outfit, okay? Now, some people might put their pole outfit on and just put their clothes over top, which you could do that too. But just in case, so I don't have to run home sometimes, I leave an outfit or two in my pole bag and I just put it on when, you know, I get there. So I don't gotta spend money to have something to wear. I have like this little cute little fishnet look. What's it called? You can wear this to pole class. Or I have me some nice hair shorts. Just make sure you got your pole clothes. The next thing that I have in my pole bag is a charger. Another downer is when I have my dance phone, but it's not charged. So, and I hate having to leave class to go and run out to the car to get a charger. So, that's why I have my charger here. So, I just go ahead, charge my phone while class is going, and then when we start recording, then I, you know, I got a full battery. So, it's good to keep a charger, plus if somebody phone dying, you know, you could just, you know, grab this out, let them use your charger real quick. Period. The next thing that I have in my pole bag, and they are very essential, okay, is knee pads. You always want to have some knee pads because you never know when you are going to be doing floor work. You never know when you got to be on your knees. And I don't know about y'all's studio, but my studio, our floors are not forgiving and they are not easy on the knees. 
So I always make sure that I have my knee pads because the next thing that I have in my pull bag is my tripod so this tripod I leave it like this usually so I can record like this instead of recording like sideways but yeah so this is my tripod right here if I need to this thing is locked but it can go up it can go to the side whatever I use this when nobody can record me so I could just put my phone up on here, I could do a whole bunch of things and then I could just go and look at some of the things that I did in class. Or if I need to record with it, you know, I just set it up somewhere where you can see me and I can do the dance. Um, because sometimes you don't have somebody to record you and you really want to see what you're doing in class. And also sometimes you just want to record in the middle of class. So, you know, you got your tripod and that's good. You also don't want to be recording the floor. So you want to make sure you got your tripod so that you're not putting your phone up on the floor and trying to do stuff like you can't see certain things. Like if you climb, you're not going to be able to see yourself if you put the phone on the floor. So just make sure you get you a tripod. They're $20 on Amazon and you won't be sorry. The next thing that I have in my pole bag is some water. You want to make sure you have water, especially you on the pole class. Since going to pole class with no water is crazy. So you want to make sure you have you a nice water bottle. Drink that water, girl. Get you, get you that H2O. All right, last but certainly not least of what you need in your pole bag is some shoes. Now, shout out to shout out to Jarne. She makes shoe covers, and it basically covers the platform of the shoe, so you don't get it all scuffed up and stuff like that. Also, if you have a um, open toed foot, then you can also cover your toes up. Like that's what I did when I had my other shoes. I would cover my toes up so when we do clocks and stuff, it doesn't hurt as bad and it doesn't feel as weird with your toes on the floor doing knee knees and all of that. So definitely get you some shoe covers. If anybody in your studio makes shoe covers or um, I don't know if John A. I can ask if y'all comment in the comment section down below and y'all want Johnny to like ship y'all some. I'll see if she do that. I'm not sure if she do, but she's selling in our studio. But anyways, yeah. So shoe covers and you need your shoes. So these are my new shoes from when my shoes broke and I had to get some new shoes. They keep unlacing y'all. I have to lace them every time I put them on. Oh my god. But these are my babies, okay? They look good, don't they? Don't they? But you wanna make sure you have your shoes. I want you guys to watch the 10 facts that people don't know about pole. If you watched it, you will know that these shoes are not as scary as they look. So just make sure that you don't take too long to get in your heels in your pole journey. All right, that concludes this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to turn those post notification bell so you know every time I post. And don't forget to comment if you have any video requests, any questions, or you just want to talk to me because I'll be bored. But you already know it's your girl, Candy G, in the place to be. So comment down below and I'll get to you for sure. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And without a doubt, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.